What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Up, explained by an idiot. Y'all love these videos. I some some of y'all been requesting some other vids, <clears throat> and I'm gonna get to them. But dude, up. Granted, I never saw it, but dude, that little fat fucking Welcome marshmallow kid. He's fucking a wait. I think that's the old guy. But dude, <laughs> like what? Like that's that's my dog. So I I I never watched the full movie, but. That's my guy, so we're watching this. I'm hyped for this shit. So, we'll, we'll watch Frozen 2 later. Wait, fuck. Okay. Wait, what? Welcome to Donna. The movie begins. <laughs> off rip. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for the love recently. Alright, I'm gonna shut up. There's a little dude watching a short film about an adventure. Fuck, wait, hold on. It's because the blue line was on the fucking, like, the, the bar, red bar. There was a blue. Yeah, okay. My bad. Going to his <clears> place <throat> called Paradise Falls with a bunch of dogs to bring back a super rare undiscovered bird alive to show all his science friends how cool he is. He's like, whoa, bro. Then he runs off playing and finds his old raggedy shitty house with a female child inside of it that has the same passion for this dude Charles Munts uh, explorer guy as this little kid. She's a bit creepy but kind. After she breaks his arm. <laughs> She... she breaks into his house at night. That is totally normal. I see no red flags here. Anyway, she shows him. Wait, wait, wait. What's the me? Bro, okay. Break... Yeah, no. Like, when I told you I haven't seen the movie, like, I just know, like, the little fat kid and, like, he's cute and, like, that's it. So, you know what I'm night. saying? That like, is... I know nothing. I, I, I really didn't. Like, I've never watched this movie. Like, I didn't know about there was a chick in this movie. What the fuck? I was just a, thought it was, like, an old dude, a fucking little marshmallow kid, and a fucking balloon. Like, all right. So, when you post a good meme and some idiot gets all serious and, like, Okay, anyway. It's totally normal. I see no red flags here. Anyway, she shows him her top secret adventure book where she wants to go to Paradise Falls just like this guy Charles and she's left a bunch of pages empty for her adventure there when she gets there. Then she makes some promise to take them there when they grow up. No pressure. And she no leaves pressure. because he's a dude the power of boners is a super strong so he grows up to marry her. And we start a montage of their life together where they buy the fucked up house and immediately get to work fixing it up. They don't even take their wedding clothes off. Do you know how uncomfortable not to mention dangerous it is to work in a wedding dress you fucking shit beans? Anyway, they fix up the house <laughs> to find out their shit beans. Name, Carl. Nice. No promises on sticking to them though. They turn the house into the gay dream house of their childhood. He needs to do more calling. Nice. No promises on sticking to them though. They turned the house into the gay dream house of their childhood. He needs to do more calling. He's. <laughs> Carl, nice. Don't give him a bit. <laughs> no promises on sticking to them though. They turned the house into the gay dream house of their childhood. He needs to do more cardio. He sells balloons. He's a <laughs> No them, they turned the house into the gay dream house of the child. I'm sorry. He to do more cardio. He sells balloons. She's a bird person. Then they decide to make bibbis together. But turns out her baby oven is kaput. Either that or his piss pump supplies lackluster baby mix. But I do think it's her ovaries though. Point is, baby is a no-go. And she depresso as pressure. Just a no-go. She gets the press no away. <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy's funny. He's no point. It's Bebe is a no-go, and she depresso is pressure over that. So to cheer her up, he's just saving up to go to Paradise Falls finally. But problemo after problemo cucks them from doing that. Stop breaking bones, fucking Carl. Also, if you really <laughs> want to speed this process along a bit, you should look into shifting your career from selling balloons to something a bit more lucrative. Might I suggest meth? Continuing with the montage. <laughs> all together and forget the whole Paradise Falls ordeal but Roblox man after years and years and years remembers it and I guess he has the money now so he yeah. buys plane tickets to surprise Ellie but yeah. hold on Paradise Falls is in Venezuela bro do you know how dangerous Venezuela is doesn't matter because Ellie's sick and eventually she dies pretty sad too <laughs> I didn't but I think that's probably because I had no soul Take <laughs> this word for it. it was pretty sad I mean I, I mean I'm sad fuck movie time. Carlito goes about his sad daily routine for us to find out that his neighborhood has been turned into a concrete jungle and some business what? fucker wants to buy his house and Mr. Potato Head comes over like boss man's willing to offer double his last offer for your property. Oh is he? Let me talk to him. Hey faggot yeah gay vampire looking ass bitch you can kiss my big little ass boy yeah I'm not with him. You can have <laughs> my house when I'm dead. He goes inside and after a little while he gets knocked on his door from this little killer bean looking ass dude named Russell. Your boy Scott and Carl's just like no and shuts the door but then Opens the door again, turns out Russell wants to get his assistant the elderly badge and won't leave Carl alone. So Blockface makes up the story about this annoying creature snipe thing, alright, and tells him to go find it if he wants to help him and he'll sign his thing for him. You know, if you really wanted the kid off your back that bad, you could have just signed the paper that said that he helped you and just be done with it and write how he helped you by avoiding a headache and leaving me alone. I thought old people were supposed to be wise. So dumbass kid goes out to find the snipe and Bulldozer comes along and backs up into Carl's mailbox and Mark Zuckerberg tries to help, like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, don't do Mark that. Zuckerberg! <laughs> <laughs> fix it, go steal someone's dad, I can't die, I can help! Ah! <laughs> 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 There's a tennis ball at the end of that king, right? How the fuck does it do so much damage? I guess it's possible, but still, Yo. Mark's pussy face is bleeding, and since this is the great US of A, we get lawsuits, baby! <laughs> fuck yeah, can you smell that? It's freedom, motherfucker! Queer vampire sues his ass and gets the house. 
house and forces his call to go into a retirement home. You know, maybe if Carl didn't run away like a bitch and just apologize right then and there, then they wouldn't have this problem. But I doubt it because, you know, this is the land of McDonald's. They will celebrate at the whiff of a lawsuit. That night, he's told to pack up his shit to go to a retirement home next day. But wait, hold on. Okay, wait, wow. Oh, like, I'd probably be sad here if this fool wasn't just fucking talking stupid. Okay. Damn, I'm starting sweating. What the fuck? Alright, okay, though, no, this is really sad, actually. It's just this fool's fucking stupid. Go steal someone's data. Just, what's the fuck? Okay. Alright, we're good. We're, yeah, you here with me? Yeah, we cut? Yeah? Alright, cool. Alright. Alright. Upon Ellie's old adventure book, so he right. looks at it and then looks at the old people home brochure like. <sighs> Shit. Toy. And next day when the retirement home people come, he releases the Kraken, a shit ton of balloons, what? rise up and rip the house from the ground, and he flies away. Now, obviously, this is impossible. Ripping a house from its foundations by a bunch of balloons is just a tremendous amount of horse shit, but who cares? He flies through the city and sets sail for Paradise Falls. Wee! And he sits down peacefully in his chair, but then... E Didn't he retire? How the fuck he got so many balloons in that little fucking crib? Like, that shit has no square footage, bro. Like, what? I mean, okay, logic's kind of out the window because there's a fucking house flying with balloons. But you feel me? Like, what the hell? And he, I heard a knock. No way Carl's ass is there. How? What? What the fuck is that? Turns out to be Russell. You see, he thought he found the snipe and followed under the porch. It turns out to be just a tiny mouse. And then the house took off and here we are. However, I have a question. He said he was hiding under the porch. So where? Yeah, the porch ain't... Where? Where? Where the fuck is this kid in these images? And also later on, we find out that Russell can't climb for shit, so this is cat piss right here. Anyway, he lets him in. Kid's annoying. He fantasizes about killing him. Then he tries to lower the house by cutting off some balloons from this fireplace where they're all attached to the house. But then they approach a cumuloid nim bitch, right? That's a cloud, storm cloud. They go inside it and plates crack, shit falls, and he's like, no, my stuff. And we cut to later when he titled his stuff down and he's passed out there. And Russell steered the house to South America using his wilderness explorer DPF that he immediately loses. And called the that they <laughs> And he immediately loses. America, so he takes the bird down to get the kid home, and they pass by some rocks, and he's like, what the hell is that? And they crash into the ground and fall <laughs> off and save the house from flying off a cliff. By the way, this guy, this old, no. frail old man, is supposed to have all his bones shattered and or dislocated. And he's gonna keep doing shit like this and be completely fine afterwards. So I'm just gonna pretend he's some sort of invincible mythological god or something, and just move on, okay? So That's how they saved the house? goes to Paradise Falls and the final resting place that he wants to put his house in. And because Carl has sausage arms and can climb, he decides to walk his house over there. By the way, if Russell could have made it up, he wanted him to hoist him up. That's why a 12 year old kid should hoist a fully grown man up. Yeah, that was never gonna happen. Also, now that he has decided to walk the house over there and set it down, he has in effect given up on the idea of taking Russell back home. Just saying. So, dipshit Russell <laughs> says, Yo, he kidnapped them. Hey, but he, he was already getting sued. This man, <laughs> motherfucker. The fuck about that shit, bro. He's about that life. You know, bro, there ain't no going back. This man's a felon. He avoided a lawsuit. He stole a crib. You know how thousands, like, bro, if you steal more than $750 worth of something, that's felony, bro. You could go, like, to the showers and, like, don't drop your soap type shit. You know what I'm saying? But not only that, like, he he kidnapped. Bro, homie, <laughs> homie's a straight. Yo. Okay, and I just, you know, I just, like, they, like you know, Disney's not going to tell you this shit, but they're literally, like, made a, a criminal, a protagonist. Like, think about that shit. Bro, what were they? What pack was Disney on when they made this movie? Logic's out the fucking window too. But all right, anyways, it's fuck. Move in quick because the helium leak out the balloons in three states. They wear the house like a backpack. Russell takes his shit in the jungle, and with the help of some chocolate, he finds a big gay ostrich. Brings it over like I found the snipe. Listen, kid, it's oh my god, th there's no such thing as a snipe, dude. Can we keep it? Of course not. They keep it. Then they meet a dog with a collar on it that allows it to speak. And he's a very good boy, okay? His name's Doug. And he has been tasked by his master to find a bird. And it turns out that the big gay ostrich, Kevin, all right, that's his name. Kevin big Malone, gay the ostrich. He was looking for. He's like, Kevin oh, Malone? His prisoner, please. Please, please, oh, please be my prisoner. Then we cut to another pack of dogs, also searching for Kevin Bacon, and they check their colors to see that dog has a bird on their little tiny screens that have GPS location. How the fuck is this technology what? available 80 years ago? Whatever, I guess 1920s fucking movie signs. Haven't used that one in a while. Anyway, they contact the good boy and see he has the bird what? and run to his location. Meanwhile, the duckster has made Carl his new master because he loves him so much, but Carl is running dangerously low on fucks to get, and he wants to get rid of on both him and- fucks to get. <laughs> 
and Kevin. So he throws the ball and some chocolate, and both Doug and Kevin run after them respectively, and he tries to run away far, far away, but that does not work at all. That's no good because they still find out. I mean, you're not that hard of a target to find, you dumb what old fuck. You literally have a floating house attached to you. Anyway, they camp under the shelter of the house at night from the rain, and it is okay, that's that smart. Russell's dad doesn't give a crap about him. And next day, Kevin's gone, oh, but damn. not really. He's on top of the house stockpiling food to take it to his kid. That's right, Kevin is a girl. It's official. Kevin is a gender neutral name. If you don't agree, eat a dick. Up has spoken. So Kevin takes some food and says, <laughs> Up has spoken? <laughs> what? So he's a gay. Uh, but he's. So he's trans. But not really. He's on top of the house Wait. stockpiling food to take it to his kid. That's right. Kevin is a girl. It's official. Kevin is a gender neutral name. If you don't but agree, Kevin. eat a dick. Up has spoken. So Kevin Up has spoken. Nah, he's. He's a transgender. That's like Kevin switched teams, bro. He switched teams mid game. I mean, it's cool. I'm just saying though, like that's what Kevin is. You know what I'm saying? Like Kevin was a dude. Then you know he just fucking, you know, grabbed like. Yeah, now he's switched teams. Like I mean, it's cool. I'm just saying that's what happened. That's why he's kept. Kevin takes some food and says goodbye and goes off to his bibbies, but his ostrich spidey sense tingles. And we cut back to the floating house gang where the dog pack jumps onto them and asks Doug, where is the bird? Ah, yes, the bird is the word. Ah, yes, I could see how you would think I have the bird. Uh, tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and I will have the bird. Yes, dumb bitch, you lost it. Then the dog scores the game. <laughs> dumb bitch, you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. This shit's funny. Come with them to their master as prisoners, and we see Kevin on top of the house. Okay, I can notice once, but how the fuck does it get up there, especially without getting noticed? No way it can fly. Ugh, whatever. They take him to a cave, and lots of dogs show up. Then Charles Munn. So this whole time, Kevin's just up there? Who the fuck is this? Shows up. Yep, he's still alive, and he's still here looking for this fucking bird. He takes one look at their mode of transport. Wait, who the fuck is that? Show up up there, especially without getting noticed. No way it can fly. Ugh, whatever. They take him to a cave and lots of dogs show up. Then Charles Munz shows up. Yep, he's still alive and he's still here looking for this fucking bird. He takes one look at their mode of transportation and decides that they're not. Okay, I think I think I fucked up. Charles, I I think he explained it later, but I I I, I guess I was laughing. Who the fuck is this guy? Who? All right, whatever. And car goes. Holy bazookas! That's Charles Munz. Oh my god. Oh boy, I don't give a fuck. So Charles and <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> We're running that back. We're gonna run that back. This is Charles Munz. Oh my god. Oh boy, I don't give a fuck. So Charles and <laughs> place for dinner and they park their house next to his big fuck off blimp and he's trains oh, his dog. Oh, this is the dude that went to paradise. First, right or whatever the fuck. I don't make know. For him and do everything for him. And he's the astronaut. He has not left this place because okay. he's still looking for this bird, but he can't catch it because he's escaping into this labyrinth place. I've lost so many dogs in there. Blah blah. <laughs> People try to come here and steal my discovery. Blah blah blah. I just want to mention that Charles must be at least eighty years old, and the fact that he might be having sex with his dogs is not too far fetched of a theory. I'm just saying. Anyway, shit, dick suspicion keeps arising, and they both see Kevin on top of the house, and Carl uses this as a distraction to get out of the blimp and takes his house, and the dogs go after them. So Jesus takes the wheel. Sorry, Kevin takes the wheel, and a bunch of balloons pop while Doug tries to help them out and slow down the rest of the dogs but he almost gets thrown off a cliff himself then they jump this gap or rather float across this gap and make it to safety but kevin what? has been bitten and russell's like we gotta get it back to his babies this fucking kid all right let's go so they want to get to the labyrinth where what? his babies are what the fuck just happened okay basically shit went down Okay, I guess. All right, no way the balloons aren't popping here. They're floating at branch level. Come on, this is donkey dong. I'm mixing it up here with the fucking, you know, the animals and the feces. You see what I'm doing here? Anyway, they get to the entrance of the maze and the fastest healing bird ever limps over there. But Munch shows up. You see, he tracked him down using Doug's collar because it has a GPS track, remember? He traps Kevin. But then he loses the collar when, the, or maybe that was just the cone. Okay, anyway. He tries to burn down and calls house. Balloons popping and shit. And forced between freeing Kevin and saving his house, he chooses his house. And then swoops in and takes the bird. Then Russell goes, You gave away Kevin. I didn't set out for this shit, alright? <laughs> I didn't sign up for this shit. Calls Doug a bad dog. Now listen here, you racky old piece of shit. You take that back, cunt. Anyway, he decides to take his barely airborne house to the falls with or without the help of fucking Russell. He gets there, proxy there, kind of crooked in him, and Russell goes, fucking, you're a dick. I hope you get polio. Dude goes in the house. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. I hope you get polio. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
on, bro. This fool's name's High Boy. This fool does crack. I don't give a shit. He doesn't just do. <laughs> No time, no time. Okay, guys, sit down in this chair. Check Ellie's adventure book. See that she has filled out the. Oh, fuck me. Okay, hold on. I'm crying. We good? You good? Yeah? Oh, okay, wow. I'm actually sweating. I actually have sweat. Like, on my body. Okay, anyways. The pages of the stuff I'm gonna do section was pictures of the two of them, and for some reason, this is more touching to me than the montage at the beginning, but I still didn't cry. So her I'm, I will not cry. I'm, I'm soulless, goddammit. I'm strong. Wait, so her adventure was living her life with him? Thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. <clears throat> Fuck that bitch. I'm soulless. Then he decides to help Russell get back, Kevin, but Russell... <laughs> mm, yo, I'm sweating. Remember I said I was sweating on my body? I meant my face too. Yeah. Has helped himself to some balloons and leaf blowers to go save Kevin himself. And he's like, no! Then he tries to move his house, but it won't budge and goes, ah, fuck this chair. Oh. And he gets the idea to shed weight from the house to make it float. And he does that and he finally takes off enough weight to make the house take off once more. And Doug shows up at the porch and he's a good boy now. Yay. He was supposedly hunting on the porch as well, but I didn't see him when it took off. Does this porch have a secret compartment? How do porches work? I don't know. Russell finds a blimp somehow, goes inside and gets caught. And then Dick Mitchum does the classic I'll tie the protection to a chair and let some weird fucking mechanism kill him really slowly so he has more time to escape move. Then Clark. Clarl? It's not Clarl. Then Carl closes in on the blimp and sees the kid being lowered to his death and he goes to save him. I don't know how the balloons aren't hitting the bottom of the blimp and popping to be honest. And aren't they supposed to be having trouble breathing? How high up are they? It doesn't matter. Carl tries to keep Bean Boy safe but Bean Boy wants to help so Carl and Doggo go inside and distract other Doggos with the ball and free Kevin while Russell frees himself and fucks up big time. Mint Man sees dipshit Russell and sends flying dogs after him. What? Is hilarious stuff cause dog fighters. I get it. But now I'm trying to shoot out the fucking balloons and said they aim for the tiny target that is the kid. Fucking dumb bitches. But <laughs> Ah, fucking dogs flying you're fucking dogs. Why am I even? <laughs> yeah, just, on. Munch yeah. Fights Carl and they fight each other while Doug runs away from <laughs> other dogs and humiliates the alpha and accidentally becomes the alpha dog himself. You know, like Toothless and other dragons. He's a leader now, okay? Then Carl and the super <laughs> fight the side of a blimp and try and knock This is your leader, bro. Look at You know, like Toothless. <laughs> Toothless and other dragons. He's a leader now, okay? Then Carl and the super healing bird climb the side of a blimp. <laughs> he and... just met all those other dogs as bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, they're scrapping on the side of the blimp? The good year? Try and knock off. Oh! Until he survives and Russell finally learns how to climb rope. The dogfighters crash off because Squirrel, by the way, the fight Carl had with Munts, he gave him a good whack on the head with a stick, right? And Munts didn't bleed while Mark. Yeah, while Mark Zuckerberg. Oh. had a fucking explosive period in his head. Not yeah! Possible. Doesn't matter. I guess Munts is fucking built different. So. Yeah, and he's older. You know, there's, there's no fucking logic here. If it's fucking Disney. Walt, what are you, what are you on, dude? Walt, alright? I know you're fucking dead, but dude, like, tell these motherfuckers to, like, you know. Kids watch this shit, like, they're gonna think, like, you know, I could fly if I buy, like, 30 balloons. They're gonna use their mom's credit cards, buy it on Amazon, then, you know, they go, <gasps> and then shit gonna happen, and then it's just, it's logic, man, I right? Fuck. So, Roadrunner and Minecraft reunite with Airbutt on the roof, and Killer Bean brings Air the house over, but Musket Man shoots some balloons off with a rifle, and the- How the fuck did he shoot that many with one shot? They're supposed to pop the- He didn't just shoot- you know the accuracy that he would have to have? He'd have to fucking like, mm, fuck it, bah! right? And that bullet would have to hit the strings of like fucking 20, 50 sides, five, five balloons for them to go. So no, he's just, no, no. All right, and look. Craft reunite with Airbutt on the roof and Killer Bean brings look, the house over. Look, musket man look, are you looking? Look, look. They, didn't, they didn't pop. They, so it, technically he shot the fucking string, which then let them go. No! Maybe if he shot one and he, like, they pop, like, two, five or something, because, you know, they're on the line. You know, maybe that's what... But no, they're not popped. Fucking Walt. Balloons off with the rifle, and the thing slides off, falls down a bit, and starts sliding off the blimp, but Carl, the Norse god, gets a hold of it from the yeah. fucking garden hose, and he keeps it on board, because he's fucking Zeus. You know how many kids probably broke their back? They probably got scoliosis. Not even scoliosis. Them fu they're fucking paralyzed trying to do shit like this now. Because they see like an 80 year old, they're like, I, I drink my milk, bitch. So then, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
fucking oh, Disney. Something. And Munch tries to break in the house and get the fucking bird. He does that and then Carl gets a brainwave, right? He's like, chocolate. And Russell and Doug hold on to Kevin. He shoots through the fucking window. The garden hose says, adios. Munch falls to his death, but motherfucking Carl got a death grip on that motherfucking hose, man. And he saves these idiots while he sees his house float down into the abyss. Uh, is that an abyss? No, it's just the sky. The sky. Uh, we transition to Kevin getting back to his kid. Then Carl assumes ownership of the airship and leadership of the dogs. That's a lot of ships there. And they get back to their town or city. He's not... He's not this dirty in the blimp. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's not this dirty in the blimp. Also, the ceremony takes place as soon as they come back. What? Really? Yeah. And they get back to their... Teddy for Russell's badge receiving ceremony and his dad ain't there but Carl is and he gives him the Ellie badge and I don't know if this bitch is his mom stepmom maid caretaker or whatever but she seems hella okay with the fact that the kid's been missing for three fucking days also what the hell is wrong with this kid his cat died or something is he constipated the fact that the kid's been missing for three fucking days also what the hell is wrong with this kid his cat died or something is he constipated doesn't matter movie ends with them parking their blimp on top of a ice cream shop cause that's fine that's legal no problem with that and his old house very conveniently resting in the correct spot on Paradise Falls which you might call luck but I call it Camel Dookie. This movie gets eight schnozes out of eight Cessna 172s. That's horse shit!